What it do? Thank y'all for continuing. Uh, tune in to the 38114 show. Uh, the newer episode will be on the new layout. You see we got the futon right here. So who coming to sit on the couch with comedian Ambrose Jones next, y'all? Man, this would all be, wouldn't be possible, man, if y'all wouldn't continue uh, purchasing the merch. We got new merch in. We got 38114 show hoodies. We got, uh, we got those available in uh, black, you know, with the 38114 show logo. And on the back, you got the scan me card on it. That way it'll go straight to the website if somebody behind you and they scan it. We got those available in white. And we got them available in black. This the white, icy white honey bun. You know, from sizes to small to 4X. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go to the website, 38114 Show. Get y'all one. You know, we also got 38114 Show masks available on the website. We got those available in blue, gold, and white. You know what I'm saying? You need your mask when you go out because you can't go in the store without a mask. That way you ain't got to look on the ground and pick nobody else's mask up. You already have a 3811 Fusho gent in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? 3811Fusho.com. Get your mask and hoodies. And uh, this is the number one seller here, uh, Immortal Herbs. Sea moss and bladder rack tincture. That's right. Sea moss contains 92 of 101 minerals that your body need. Bladder rack contains the other nine. Y'all can go to comedianambrose.com and get these. Available in one ounce and two ounce tincture bottles, man. Boost your immune system, aids in weight loss, and also... Boost your libido, you know what I'm saying? I haven't taken no vaccine because I know my immune system good with these. It's my number one seller right there, man. Sea moss and bladder rack herbs. Immortal herbs. Immortal means Ambrose, by the way. Immortal means Ambrose. Ambrose means immortal. Uh, two of my customers said that other members of their house has caught COVID except them because they have been taking my products. So that was, very, uh, that was a very proud moment right there. So y'all can get those available on my website, Comedian Ambrose Jones. Thank y'all for tuning in. We got new episodes coming with more influential, positive, funny people right here on the 3811 Fuss Show. Make sure y'all sure hit that like and subscribe button. I'm Comedian Ambrose. I'm out. All right, man, we're here. Uh, another episode. <laughs> What's up, man? You got it, uh, you got it. Hey, another episode of the 38114 Show. I'm Comedian Ambrose, and y'all might remember this guy from early on in the shows. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We talked about the Nation of Islam. He do, he's on the research team for the Nation of Islam. Worked very closely uh, with uh, Mr. Louis Farrakhan. And, uh, man, we had a really good interview. So, And we touched briefly about uh, UFOs. This guy written a book about it and uh, the relation that the Nation of Islam have with the UFOs. So we're here to discuss... <laughs> More about the unidentified flying object UFOs with Mr. Ilya Rashad Muhammad, man. Boy, what an intro. Man. Thank you. <laughs> what an intro. Appreciate that. Thank you for coming back. Uh, <laughs> first of all, uh, since last time we talked about it, it wasn't that much coverage going on about UFOs. Right. But now recently I'm seeing in the news, you know, CNN covering, oh, no, we... We got the research on the UFOs. Now we want to tell everybody uh, uh, about it. So could you tell us why Why do you think that is now? They want to come out and say, you know. Yeah, they're, they're kind of being pressured to talk about it. First of all, the U.S. government and military intelligence have always um, talked about and tried to study and monitor the reality of these so-called UFOs okay. since the early 40s. Okay. Uh, they've just been doing it in secret. Okay. But now we find that government officials and the Pentagon and military officials are being pressured to come forth and admit mm -hmm. that these planes exist. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just maybe three or four years ago that the Pentagon admitted that they were even studying and looking into it. Right. And now you find where they are admitting that these planes exist. Uh -huh. um, and the reason that they are coming forth publicly now is because they can't hide it. Okay. Millions of people, hundreds of millions of people Started from around the globe have been seeing them for years. Yeah. But um, when they report it, of course, it gets kind of pushed aside from the public. Mm -hmm. um, but military has been seeing it for years. This is nothing new now. Right. They've been seeing these things and encountering them since at least the 1940s. Okay. But because certain military personnel, mostly pilots from the Air Force and the Navy, were seeing these things so often, 
they got to a point where they felt they couldn't um, tell their superiors about their daily sightings you know because there have been protocols put in place since the 40s where <laughs> military personnel, you can't say NASA, nothing. you can't say nothing. You know what? Hold on. I'm reading this book, uh, the, the Pale Horse. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah, he <laughs> talks about that in there where he say he's saying that he couldn't tell uh, his sergeant about it. He couldn't tell nobody about it. And they got him in a room, yep. and they asked him about it. He was like, no, I ain't see that. I ain't, I ain't see that. And, and they would keep pressing him. And then he's like, okay. I seen it, but he was like, you better not tell nobody else. That has been, <laughs> that has been the common practice of <laughs> UFO disclosure up until right now. Mm -hmm. It's always been held, as far as government goes, this topic has always been held above top secret. Okay. You know, and okay. we know why. We about to get into it. I wanted to make sure I asked the uh, right questions to get everybody, you know, some more information about it. So... I got a list of questions I'm going to ask you throughout this interview to make sure we touch bases on, on everything right. so everybody can get a better, me and the listeners get a better understanding Absolutely. about what's going on. So, all right, uh, it's, you got a, a background as an educator in public schools, beekeeper, and urban agriculturalist. Uh, what made you uh, interested in the UFO subject? Well, as, you, as we mentioned before, I am a part of the Nation of Islam. And it's always been a core part of the Nation of Islam's theology that Elijah Muhammad met God. This is what distinguishes the Nation of Islam from every other religious tradition, every other school of thought and ideology. We are very distinct in the sense that we literally believe that Elijah Muhammad met God in person, mm -hmm. you know. And not only do we believe he met God in person, but this God who came in the person of Master Father Muhammad, yep. literally left proof of his presence. And since we're on the topic of UFOs, one of the most obvious proof that he left Elijah Muhammad was the reality of a huge circular craft that flies in the sky of phenomenal abilities that we call the mother plane or the mother wheel, mm -hmm. along with its 1,500 smaller wheel-shaped planes. These are the ones that have been mostly sighted around the globe um, that are called unidentified flying objects or UFOs. But the Nation of Islam had identified this reality back in the early 1930s before there was ever even any talk, talk about. of UFOs. The term UFO wasn't even a thing so, in 1930. So you're saying God left Mr. Farad Muhammad, mm -hmm. the big plane and 15 smaller ones? He is responsible for this oh. big plane and the smaller ones, and he literally showed Elijah Muhammad this plane mm -hmm. in the early 30s, as early as 31 or 32. He showed it to him and gave Elijah Muhammad the most intricate details concerning these planes. Who pilots them, where they are from, what they're used for, what they can do, and everything that only the Nation of Islam to this day, the nation remains the only entity mm -hmm. that even gives definitive details about these crafts. As not you only, are now. Not only were, <laughs> was the nation the first, but to this day remain the only entity to give explicit details exactly what these planes are, what they can do, and everything that Master Farad Muhammad left Elijah Muhammad about these planes, as he delineated, have proven true and been confirmed in the real world. Hold on, you got these uh, newly joined Muslims. They don't even know <laughs> nothing about that. They ain't even know well, nothing about that. Well, look, <laughs> most people, period, you know, don't know anything about mm. this truth. And that's the reason that this topic has been above top secret. Okay, I remember uh, uh, prior towards uh, uh, our last interview, you told me that the UFOs, the UFOs are for us. They with us. That's true. So if you see one, don't you harm one. You tell you, do you? And you know what? I tweeted that, and, and uh, everybody else just started tweeting it. I was like, yeah, my boy <laughs> with the Nation of Islam said the UFOs are with us. And that shouldn't come as a surprise. All right. Now, we are here in Memphis, mm -hmm. and this is a very religious town. Right, you know? right, right, right. And 
all these people of different religions believe in God and believe in the scriptures, whether they're uh, Jewish, Hebrew. And, and this is number four, half hour comedy special. Say it louder. That's me and my son on the front. This one is on a one gigabyte USB drive. This has uh, 35 minutes of stand up and a 15 minute documentary on. So all these got different material. So this new hour called You Don't Know Me, a uh, 15 minute documentary. It's a movie. Y'all go check it out, man. Come on. That's what I'm Christian, Muslim, mm -hmm. all of the sacred texts and scriptures that these religious people believe in, all of these texts describe God as operating from some heavenly vehicle okay. that flies in the sky okay. along with his angels. Okay. They're just described as things like heaven, wow. heavenly chariots, okay. God's heavenly throne, New Jerusalem, okay. all of these things. So in truth, the nation of Islam, what we teach and represent to the world should not be a surprise because it is most congruent with the scriptures that religious mm. folk claim to believe in. Mm. So you said it might not be God and his angels, it might be God and his UFOs. Hey, that's what, that's what, it, <laughs> well, they're not UFOs to us. <laughs> right, right. But you know what, I, since you told me that, I was like, man, from here on out, if I see one, I feel more comfortable. <laughs> Like, if one come down, I'd be like, hey, what's up, man? I, I wouldn't try to run from it. I, wouldn't, I ain't going to pull out no gun and try to shoot. I'm like, oh, he with us, man. Elijah Muhammad said, claimed it. Now, even though these planes and those people, not aliens, mm -hmm. the people that pilot them do have the capability of destroying um, this world's militaries and all of that. They're far yeah, more superior. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is why all. Way smarter, too. Absolutely, <laughs> and they've proven that in the real world. All of the major military reports confirm that. But all those scriptures show that God's people would be in such a condition that no power could come to their rescue except the power of God. Mm. This is why God has what are called his host of angels that operate from these flying wheels, Boy. flying vessels. Okay, this, uh, this is a good one. Tell me this. Wh why should we take this topic seriously about the UFOs? Why, why should we? Why well, should people be concerned? Absolutely. Good question, too. Well, the average person should certainly be concerned. And if you don't know why, look at why <laughs> all the governments and militaries of the world are concerned about it. Mm -hmm. They're so concerned that countless billions of our taxpayer dollars have been given to study and try to monitor this reality. Okay. They've spent decades trying to study and in their wicked mind even thinking they could try to counter and go against this superior power. Mm -hmm. So this has been going on for decades. Other governments around the world have actually admitted it that these planes exist. America is the last one to get on board, mm -hmm. you know. Other countries they have opened up their files. They've acknowledged that these planes exist. But America, the world's superpower, is the last one to even get on board. And they're barely coming all the way out now. Right, 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 right.